Welcome to our channel, where we talk today about science, space and the secrets that surround the universe. In this video, we will learn about the Big Bang Theory, which explains how the universe originated from a hot, very dense state 13.8 billion years ago. But what is the Big Bang? Was it really an explosion? How has the universe evolved since then? Follow us to find out the answers. The, the Big Bang in physical cosmology is the prevailing theory to explain the origin and evolution of the current universe. When the idea of the theory is based on the fact that the universe was in the past in a very hot, dense state, so it expanded, and that the universe was once a single part. At its inception, some recent estimates place this moment at 13.8 billion years ago, which is the age of the universe. But was this expansion an explosion in the familiar sense of the word? Not exactly. The explosion means the emission of energy and matter from a limited source in outer space, while the expansion in the theory of the Big Bang is a change in the distances between all points of space, without there being a center or an edge for it. So how did this expansion begin? What was the state of the universe before it? These are very difficult questions, and they are still an area of research and debate among scholars. No one can witness directly the moment of the creation of the universe, and no one can use massive particle accelerators to reproduce its conditions. So, we need to use observations and physical laws to reimagine what happened. The idea of an expanding universe was first suggested by the Belgian priest and scientist Georges Lemaitre in 1927. 1927, based on Einstein's general theory of relativity and Edwin Hubble's observations of the redshift of galaxies, according to this theory, the universe at its beginning was a gaseous mass of great density and heat called the primary atom, then a huge explosion occurred that ruptured this mass and expanded it at a tremendous speed. After the first expansion, the universe cooled enough to form non-atomic particles such as protons, neutrons, and electrons, although simple atomic nuclei were formed within the three minutes following the Big Bang. It took thousands of years before electrically neutral atoms were formed. Most of the atoms that were produced in the Big Bang were hydrogen and helium, with a little lithium. Then giant clouds of these primordial elements coalesced with gravity to form stars and galaxies, and heavier elements were formed through stellar fusion reactions or during the synthesis of elements in supernova. In this way, the universe evolved from a simple, hot state to a relatively complex and cool state, forming the variety of galaxies, planets, and physical shapes that we see around us. But this is not the end of the Big Bang story. The universe is still expanding to this day, and may continue to expand indefinitely. There are also some challenges and mysteries facing the Big Bang theory, such as the problem of the viewing horizon, the nature of dark matter and dark energy, and the origin of inflation at the beginning of expansion. Therefore, the Big Bang theory is not an absolute or final truth, but rather a scientific theory subject to change and improvement according to observations and evidence. There may come a day when we discover new facts. This is what we know about the Big Bang theory, which attempts to explain the origin and evolution of the universe in which we live. But this is not the only or definitive theory as there may be other theories or new evidence that changes what we think. Science is constantly renewing and updating, and the search for truth does not stop. We hope this video has helped you and sparked your interest in science and space. If you liked the video, do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel, and leave your comments and opinions. Thank you for watching, and see you in another video.